Bandwidth for MacBreak is brought to you by CashFly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Welcome back to Mac Break Dev. Now, in the week before, we were talking about how to automate tagged container database interactions uh, with AppleScript. Right. Now, uh, we've also done the same kind of thing and made it even easier with Automator. This is on the Automator website which is automator.us. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the examples there is automated database publishing. Same kind of scenario, right. but using pages. So right. I'll try a different application here. Mm -hmm. Basically, the scenario you described where FileMaker has the image and it also has the text. Right. So single source to a single layout. Right. And again, you can download the demo and install it, but we'll just run it for you here now. So you have, in pages, I'll have a blank template. Right. And these boxes have been pre-named with the SKU number of the product that I want to go in each box. Right. So the picture box has been named, the text box has been named, they've already been tagged. Now where is that, where are the names there? Well, in pages, the names are invisible and you right. tag them with the little script that's up here that got installed automatically. Got okay. And when you run it, it will tell you what the SKU number or whatever tag is on that one and Perfect. then you can set it or read it if you want to. Okay. So now the question is, is how do I connect that information from FileMaker Pro? So here's a product database. Same kind of scenario, a little bit different in that uh, it has the images in it as well. Right. So we have the information, and I want to get this information in the image, and I want it basically to look something like this, but with formatting. Right. Right. So how do I get all of that information out of there easy without writing a single line of code? Uh, I say AppleScript Automator. Well, this time it's Automator. So we're going to launch Auto over here, and I have a blank workflow open. Okay. And I'm going to uh, search for FM, which will bring up these two so, actions. And FM being FileMaker. FileMaker. Okay. Yeah, it's a shortcut search term. Right. So and uh, does this come this comes with it after you install what you downloaded yeah, from, from yeah, Automator. Yeah, it'll install the Automator actions that you need to work with pages for Perfect. this. So the first action I'm going to work with is FileMaker to name text boxes. This will grab the information from the open FileMaker Pro database and put it into pages. And it is important that the FileMaker database is open. Yes. And, and I'll show you it. why. Okay. Watch what happens when I take this, or here, you do it. Just drag that from that column right over into the workflow and let go. Now, when you let go, the action view for that action appears. And in a microsecond, it scanned the open database, and you'll see that the field names from the database appear here. So now you get to decide which ones you, want, you actually want to bring in. You got it. So it says, select the FileMaker Pro field containing the identifier. In this case, it's the SKU number. Right. Then you can choose over here which fields you want to export by just checking the boxes. And you can even reorder them so that they can export in whatever order that you right. like. In this particular case, I know that there's a summary field that we're looking for. Right. And I can apply a style sheet to the pages document as well. OK. So it'll get the text out of this field using the SKU number right. as a unique identifier. Mm -hmm. We can do the same for the picture boxes. Drag that in here, identify the SKU, the product image field contains the image, and I want to scale it to fill. Perfect. So those are my two automator actions. I just click Run, stand back, and let it go to work. And so and it, and it just it created all the pages in, that, were, that were necessary to yes. make that work. As many as I needed in the in the thing, so right. you can see that the principle remains the same. Different application, different kind of data structure, but the principle will work regardless because you're taking a unique identifier and tagging a container with it. Right. Now, what does the script look like that's behind that? Right. Well, let's go and take a look at the actual script code for that. You can click this link here, and it will open up the script code for you in the script editor application. And it's really simple. There's basically like two lines of AppleScript that are doing this entire thing. So we're talking to the Pages application. Okay. And you ask it, give me every text box whose name is not empty. 
So right. all the text boxes that have been assigned names, it will return, the script will return to the, to the, uh, the script uh, references to all the text boxes. So now you know, you're the packing right. agent, you now know which boxes have what. Right. So then you go down here to FileMaker Pro and you say, show me the first record whose cell pivot field contains this identifier. So right. you get the name of the box. And the pivot field is whatever you identified. We happen to say skew. Exactly. But it could be anything there that we identified. Look, anything. The, the, so that's what it's pivoting on. Right. Right. Okay. Right. So it's getting the name of the box and then comparing it against the skew field. Tells FileMaker, show me the record that has this as a match. Right. FileMaker shows it and then you proceed to import the information into it and you format it applying some style sheets. Right. Very simple. And to do photographs, Let's click the second link here, and you can see what the code is for photographs. Again, give me every shape whose fill type is plain image and name's not empty. Right. That'll give a reference to all the tagged photo uh, things. Tell FileMaker Pro to show me the first record whose cell identifier contains Looks this tag. Like and then based upon how the user has the pop-up set, you're going to leave it at normal size, fill it, or fit it, or stretch it, or tile it, whatever you want. Right. And that's really basically three lines of code that are handling all of this. Right. Because it acts as the packing agent for you. It's what's transferring the data from one section into another and right. pouring it in. And what's great here is that you, you also, like you said before, not only is it easy, not only is it faster, right. but it, may, it, it ensures consistency. Exactly. So, so I can sit there and, and I can decide, oh, I want to change all of the headers right. or, or all of the, the prices or, right. or, or, or how they're all formatted right. without having to go through each one. And, right. right. Change it in the database, rerun it again. You don't right. care because you're not doing the layout. Right. The layout gets done for you. If, it ta if you have 80 pages or 100 pages and it takes you five minutes, what do you care? Go have a donut. Well, and the other thing is... Or is don't have this... a donut. Have something better for you. Yeah, have <laughs> apple. apple. Have an apple. That's, That's it. Better. Okay. Fuji. <laughs> so anyway, so the, uh, uh, the, the thing when you, when you get into this a lot of times is, when, when I worked on it, is the person doing the layout, you didn't want them touching the product yeah. information. Right. <laughs> right. We are artists. Right. You know, you know, you know right. we're doing our thing. And, right. and, and the person handling the FileMaker database, well, you don't want them touching the outline. Right. You know, the, right. the, the way it looks, you know. Right. And so, and this is one of the things that it's this kind of solution that most people I know who got into AppleScript were from in the print industry, right. got into it because of this. Yes. I mean, this is this is what got them in because they're like, I, I can't handle a whole catalog. Right. You know, and so. But yeah. I've seen video systems doing the same thing. Yeah. You know, there's companies in New York, big networks, that do this kind of thing where they lay out, uh, you know, segments on a timeline, and, and, right. the, and the timeline becomes the container, and the information for the segment becomes the stuff that's linked in. Yeah. It really doesn't make any difference. We're learning a principle. The right. principle is you need a unique identifier mm -hmm. that matches the record of the database with the container. And, and especially as we start to look at more and more things being created interactively, where you have to have a lot of different outcomes right. uh, for a a single, you know, we're going to go down this, but there's a whole bunch of places we can go out. Be right. able, you have to be able to automate. Yes. Yeah. Automation is the key. One more. You get speed, accuracy, consistency, and scalability, Absolutely. all with automation. And that is with container tagged. Tag container publishing. Tag container, <laughs> container tag publishing, tag container publishing. The bottom line is, is you're going to get it done. You're going to get it done fast. That's right. So, thanks, Sal. You're welcome. Where can people find out more about this kind well, of Well, you have two different websites there. You have the AppleScript website, which mm -hmm. is www.apple.com slash AppleScript and automator.us. Go download both of these examples. They're fully editable. All the code sources there, ready for you to tear apart and explore yourself. So, and if you've got questions, uh, this is, you know, we're getting this really started now uh, with MacBreak Dev. If you've got questions, if you've got development questions you'd like uh, us to talk about, make sure to uh, come up to pixcore.tv and let us know. Thanks so much.